Hey, God bless you. God bless you indeed. Today is Wednesday, September the 9th. We are on lesson 14 with the Children's Home from Kenya. I pray that you are blessed as we share with them. Take care. Hello, hello. Can you hello, hear me clearly? Yes. yes. Wonderful. Hi, boys and girls. Hi, everyone. Hi. 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 Well, it's good to see everyone. I'm glad that we have finally <laughs> been able to connect through the internet. As I say, each time that we meet, I see you boys back there. I see you boys. Uh-huh. I, I was a teacher, so I see you what you're playing. But guess what? That's what boys do. So I don't have a problem with that. But let's pay attention. Let's pay attention to the lesson. And then you can have time to play. So we are grateful yeah. for another day. You see, God has kept you he's kept me <laughs> and i don't ever want us to think that god just has to do it every day we should give god praise and we should say thank you to god at this time let us pray let's pray mm -hmm. bow your heads dear heavenly father God, we come to you another time. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you for life, health, and strength. One more time, God, we meet to declare your word and to lift up the name of Jesus. God, be with us. God, you get the glory. Your name be praised as we worship together today. Thank you for each boy and each girl. And we pray that something that is said today will be a lesson that stays with them for the rest of their lives. In Jesus' name we Amen. pray, amen. Amen. Wonderful. So thank you very much. We are, we are going to uh, to have a song today, one one or two, and then I'm going to introduce five more people today. You yeah, thank you. And then yeah, yeah. Celia, one one. No computer, okay. You have to pay still. Come on. Let's stand up. Mm -hmm. I love you,
love is better and your better is best. Beautiful. Yeah. So, okay. once more, I'm going to introduce five more people today. Okay. Uh, and we had we had a church ceremony somewhere. So some of our kids went out. So so some of them are not in. My father too is not around, but mm -hmm. everything is in order. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to introduce five people, and they're going to say their names, their class, and what they do, what they do for the benefit of the home. Okay. Hello. So I'm going to give them space to come for Nasema Dinako, for class in Daki, and I'll be now for a minute. Hi, Pastor. How are you? Hi. My name is Kenneth Moshoi. Uh, for him, normally, what he does for the home, he normally takes care of the sheep. We've got the okay. sheep which we normally have. So he is the, the one normally responsible when, when schools are closed. He takes care of the sheep. He, he takes care of the sheep. Okay. Of the sheep. Yeah. So he is a shepherd at times. All right. Yeah, shepherd. Yeah. Nice. Very good. Welcome. <laughs> Hello. Hello. My name is Aaron Gibleti. Give me your first name. What's your first name? Aaron. 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 Yeah. Yes. I am in class eight. I love to play football. Very good. A football player. Okay. <laughs> 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 Hi. Hi. <laughs> My name is Jocelyn. 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 J. O S P H Oh Josephine. Yeah. Okay. Hi Josephine. <laughs> yeah. I'm classic. I love to cook. I love to cook in Kumawi. <laughs> <laughs> And you're very happy. So you're very happy. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Mary. Mary? Yeah. Yes. Like you're about to say Merry Christmas. Yes. All right. I am class four. Mm -hmm. I love to watch in the face. You do, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Hello, Pastor Maria. Hello. My name is Zipora. Spell for me. Z. I. Double P. Zipora. Yeah. All right, Zipora. I'm in form two. Thank you. I'm in form two. My work here is just cleaning the compound and decorating houses. Yeah, just that. Very good. Thank you, Zippor. Thank you. So, wow. those are the five people uh, I have to introduce to you today. It's only because they are a bit shy because of the language and because of the the eye the eye contact, but we are working on that. <laughs> no, they're doing to... fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It helps me when you spell it out because 
since our language is different, I hear different and you speak different, or I speak different and you hear yeah. different. So when you spell it with the letters, I get yeah. it. So that was yeah. wonderful. That was wonderful. Thank you, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. And so to now the first first fellow was named Kenneth, I think. Yeah, Kenneth. Kenneth, Aaron, Josephine, Mary, and Zephora. Yeah. Good to meet you all. It's so good that I was able to meet you and hear what class you're in and then hear about what you do. That was very exciting. So keep up the good work. So now let's have the lesson for today. Here's the lesson for today. We have to always think before we speak. We have to think before we speak because once words leave our mouth, we can't get them back. I want you to remember that. There's a saying, some people say, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Well, that's not true. Words can hurt. And so I want to demonstrate a little for you how important your words are once they are spoken. I have in my hand what? Who, who can see that? What do I have? Coldest. Yep. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Hey. That's right. And 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 every who who uses toothpaste? Who uses toothpaste there? Yep. Now how often do you use toothpaste? When do you use this? Once a year? Lenkai, tell them, how often do you use this? Every day. Every day. Every day you use toothpaste to clean your teeth. Well, imagine that words are in this container. Imagine that words are in this container. Once we use words, because we use words every day, just like we use toothpaste every day. Once the words go out, can I put this toothpaste in back in here? No. No. I can try all I want. It's just going to get messy. I want to put the toothpaste back in, but it's a mess. I, it's too late. It's too late. I have to wipe it, start again. That's how important your words are. Once they leave your mouth, you can't get them back in. So we have to be careful with what we say. Let me share a few verses with you. Ephesians 4 and 29, it says this. This is the word of the Lord. Listen to it. Let no uh, abusive word proceed from your mouth, but only such a word that is good for edification to the need of the moment so that it will grace those who hear. Let me explain that. That means every one of you have a choice to make. Every time you speak to each other, to Paul, to pastors John, every time you speak, you can speak a good word, or a word that is not good. 
And the Bible says that if you choose to speak good words, you are wise. Let me share another scripture with you. Proverbs 15 and 1. It reads, a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Let me explain. Some of you are just so wonderful that if people are angry, you use nice words and you cause people to calm down. That's wise. The Bible lets us know that if people around us, they are angry and they're saying unkind words, that you have the ability to say a nice word, a word that will make them smile, make people happy. I want to encourage you today to remember once your words are spoken out of your mouth, you can't put it back in. You cannot put the words back in. So let's watch. Let's think about what we're speaking. Because God wants us to add life and joy and peace and goodness to everyone. You can do it, boys and girls. You can speak. Words that make me smile. Just like when you say the poem. Good, better, best. Never let it rest. Until your good is better. And your better is best. Oh, that makes me smile. Because those are good words. Do everything to please God. Do everything to make Jesus happy. I want you to remember that. Your words are important. So remember that tonight, tomorrow, and the rest of your lives. What you say makes a difference. Amen. You got that? I hope you understood that. And I hope that I know that Paul will talk to you about it even after we get off air. All right. Let me have a prayer with you about the lesson right now. Let's pray one more time. Dear Lord, I thank you for each boy and girl. I thank you because you have given them words. And there's, they have words that are kind and good. And God, I pray that we will do all we can to use words that build each other up and not, not words, no words that tear each other down. So thank you for the lesson, Lord. And may we please you in all that we do. In Jesus name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Len Guy. <laughs> okay, Paul. Yeah, so thank you very much for the lesson. And you've always blessed us, always. Amen. And may God bless you also. So thank today we're going to do you're going to do a blessing song, which we are going to do it for you. It's a Swahili song. Okay. It says, May you be blessed, may you be blessed so much. Ah. In Swahili we say. In Swahili, we say Ubarikiwe Sana. Ubarikiwe Sana. Sana. Ubarikiwe Sana. Ubarikiwe Sana. But I'll, I'll get it, but it yeah, sounds beautiful. That's it. No, I mean, you made a bar. Ubarikiwe. Last one is. Go up and down. Go up and down. Go up and down. Go Mbarikini kwanza kwa blasi yanza yudu. Aba, abarikiwe, abarikiwe, 
Abarikiwe, Abarikiwe, Aba, Abarikiwe, Aba, Abarikiwe, Aba, Abarikiwe, Abarikiwe, Maria, Abarikiwe, Aba, Abarikiwe, Aba, Abarikiwe, Abarikiwe, Sana, Aba, Abarikiwe, Aba, Abarikiwe, Aba, Abarikiwe, Abarikiwe, Sana. So, and then God bless you and me. Thank you, thank you. So, may God bless you so much. And well, just, I, just before we go, Paul, I want to try to share one picture with you. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important that I start with my parents. And so hopefully you're going to see this picture in a moment. Um, and these will be my mama, my mom and dad. Hold on. Okay, that's my daddy. You see him? Yeah. That's my dad. And actually, that's my mom on my shoulders there. Just showing you some of the pictures. That's my husband and I. That's my uh, middle daughter and her husband. That's my daughter, Jana Maria, and her husband, Arpon. So I'll share some more photos next time with you. So those were some pictures, and I'll share some more next yeah. time and yeah, so, so paul i would also ask the five that you introduced me to today take a picture yeah. and yeah. send it to me okay so thank you very much and you've always squeezed your time you've always squeezed everything <laughs> to, to 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 make us happy and oh. to make sure that we get the message may god bless you Thank you. It's a blessing to be with you always. All right? We might not Thank have you. enough to bless you, but our Father who is in heaven is going to bless you. Thank you very much. I am blessed. I am blessed. Please yeah. give Father John uh, and Mom Mary my greetings. Yeah. And um, God willing, we'll see them next time. Boys and girls, be on your best behavior and remember your words are important. Okay? All right, bye, boys and girls. Bye. Bye, bless you. bye Lenkai. Yeah. Okay, bye. take care, everyone. God bless you. All right, so we just spent some time at the children's home. And um, as usual, it's encouraging once we finally connect and get going. Oh, boy. Um, sometimes it takes a good 45 minutes before we connect with them. Yet the time that we spend with them is always so precious. So I pray that you've been blessed by the lesson. And, hey, when we teach them lessons, we're teaching ourselves lessons. So it's all good. All right, Bermuda, thanks for your attention and always for your care towards those things that we're doing. Blessings abound.